example, when I'm doing my podcast, I wasn't right. as comfortable as I am today because I don't, you know, you're, you're, I'm in my mid-30s now, late 30s. I'm way more comfortable as a person. Uh, and I think that's, you know, that's kind of the difference when you start dating someone young and when you start dating someone in your 30s, you're kind of established of who you are in your 30s. You know right. who you are. Right. Uh, in your 20s, you're still trying to figure life out. You know. You're right, but I think we also there's really no no direction. Like so, we have an acronym on the show. It's it's ACE. It's uh, authenticity, credibility, and empathy. Right, and those are the three principles that I see. If you practice those principles, everything falls into place. Um, I think a lot of times, like you said, you, when you're young, you're in your twenties, or or you know, you start trying to find. Most people don't even. Most guys don't even have. Uh, they don't even have an acronym to to guide them in a direction. Right. It just is whatever it is. It's however you know. It's a hodgepodge of it's like you said and, it's just things blind that you trial see. and error. Yeah, yeah and and, and, and you don't even know. And then sometimes you come from we come from abusive families and you know emotionally abusive and so we don't even know what happiness looks like because that and so you you're just flailing around and so one of the things about doing this podcast and and being it gives a guy something to shoot for Some direction, at least it's a it's at least, at least it's yeah. a, a bullseye even if they never hit the bullseye, at least they're shooting in the right direction. And I think we don't really have that in terms of what manhood should mean. Or, or and, I, and I say manhood, but I mean, I'm even becoming more open about it. Just citizens, just the civility of humanity is to tell the truth. You say something, you say you're going to do something, you do it. And to have the, 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 the wherewithal to just have some to, to check out and see what does it look like to, to walk in somebody else's tennis shoes, you know? But the frustrating thing is, even though we're open to it for everyone, I mean, the feeling that we go with on the show, uh, the direction is that the relationship goes through the man because he has to be the captain of the ship. And if he's not, that's the other weird part is that it, it sort of doubles down on what the man's responsibility is. Because when you don't know what you're doing, you don't know what you're doing for yourself, but you right. also don't know what you're doing in regards to your partner. Well, here's, here's the thing with that, you know, and I, I sometimes people get a little crazy when they go, um, uh, you know, when, when I say it, the relationship goes through the man. The point being, if you have a strong woman... And we've we've you've seen this and you heard this. You got a strong woman, and she can't find a man. And her girlfriends are going, "Oh, he's cute. Why don't you give him a chance?" That that in itself is the kiss of death, yeah. because what her friends are saying, he's a nice guy. We know you don't respect him, hmm. but give him an opportunity. So once you understand how this is that that this woman is is basically rating your manhood on a scale, whether or not she should respect you or not. Um, you can't tell a woman to, a, a strong woman to be weaker. She's not going to do that. If she's an aggressive woman, she needs a guy who matches that aggression or knows how to deescalate that aggression. You can't, you can't tell her to be weaker because all she's going to do is she's going to, you know, eventually she's going to bite your head off because you really, you didn't really have the constitution to kind of mesh with her in the first place. So I think that's really the reason it's like, you can't ask a woman to be less woman because you're not man enough, you know? Now, I, I think this is a, a, a major problem with people settling with other people that they are not compatible with. Sure. Sure. They're just, you know, I, Listen, my, my friends are now, most of them are, are 40 or, or they're approaching 40, a little above 40. They've been with their wives or girlfriends long term. Mm -hmm. And when I, and, and the wives too, you know, my wife hangs out with a lot of them and they hear mm -hmm. how they talk about their spouses, yeah. uh, how they talk about their partner. And it's, it's terrible, you know, yeah. it's not, you know, one thing I always said, once, my, once I can't compliment my wife or, or, or talk about her in a positive way, to yeah. my friends and it's becoming more negative the relationship is done yeah it's over because you want that person that you're with to show the best of you yeah 
And if you, if that's how you feel, it says a lot about you, right? right but right, sure. I think some people, for for whatever reason, and this is something I've always, I, I never had. Uh, luckily for me, and I understand it. I, I have sympathy for these people. I don't, I don't. I'm not. I'm not trashing them, but people settle with people, and they don't know how to leave once it's bad. You man, school two o two. Better hear what I've got to say because you won't get it again. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Better man.